please do not mind my ragged appearance. I look atrocious right now. Um, but it's like seven something. And I was just woken up saying that the OR was ready for me. And like I told just yesterday would be today. The afternoon. Today. And then the nurse came and mom woke me up. I was like, the OR is ready for you. And my mom was eating breakfast downstairs in the cafeteria. So she ran upstairs. Um, but I did not sleep well last night. It was really, really rough. My pancreas is acting up on top of everything. And my blood pace level was really, really high, which basically shows how inflamed your pancreas is. And all I had was vegetable broth last night. And I was in so much pain. I was not a good night. It just wasn't. It wasn't a good night at all. So I'm getting my port removed. I'm still asleep. I'm not happy about any of this. But yeah, it's getting port removal surgery today. And it is not being replaced because they don't want to risk another device being infected. So we'll, after this infection clears, then we'll go down the path. Um, but I'm changing to the hospital gown and transport is on their way. So the surgeon just came out and said everything looked okay. They're sending her port and catheter to get, um, to see if anything grows and they're assuming it will. So she's going to her recovery right now. I just saw her leaving me open and then they'll come and get me in a little bit. So I'll keep you updated. Well, my eye is obviously not swollen anymore and it is several days later especially because I'm sitting up. So I don't even necessarily remember what was vlogged last. A lot has happened. Um, so I went to the ER on Wednesday morning at like 5 a.m. Um, that's about when we arrived there maybe? Five something, I don't know. For port troubles and um, coincidentally I had, well not, that's the wrong word. I had been having fever since Monday. Um, and, you know, the thing is with the central line, whenever you have a fever, you always should go straight to the ER to make sure you don't have a central line infection. But why did I do that? There's a few reasons. One, the global pandemic. And two, I've never had an infection before with a line. Not to mention, there's kind of a third reason. Not only did I have a fever, but I had really bad chills. And I did not feel good at all. And Tuesday night, I developed a cough. And I was really thinking that I potentially had COVID. Um, how I would have gotten it, I don't know. But that genuinely was a big concern for me and my parents. And I think, like, if this wasn't a global pandemic, it, I wouldn't have gone there. But um, I had a few of the symptoms. And I know that things manifest differently. And it can start out really small with mild, mild symptoms, even though they weren't mild for me. Just mild in terms of how everyone else has been affected by it. So that's why we didn't go in sooner and why we went in when I had port troubles. So, um... Sorry, I'm out of breath. That's another thing. So they placed the a pick line because we all knew my poor needed a rest. It just was not happy at all. So placed the pick line, but they did drop cultures from my fort. So Thursday and Friday, I don't remember much of because those days were absolutely, absolutely, absolutely miserable. I did not feel good at all. My body was fighting an infection because the cultures came back Wednesday night positive that I was growing something and we'll put it what it was on the screen that was not MRSA. I started on antibiotics on Wednesday night and then they switched two days later to a more specific one um let's see 
but I was consistently having fevers, consistently having chills and body aches, and I just did not do good, feel good at all. Um, I was having a really, really hard time, a really difficult time, and when I was first admitted, infectious disease came. They said there's a possibility your port may have to come out because we all think that's the source of infection and it definitely is and was um but there's a potential that the antibiotics can work but there's also a potential that no matter how much antibiotics we give you the bacteria are not going to back down because they have a biofilm and nothing can really pass that i was getting worse and I kept having fevers, kept having shivers. Um, at one point, I was shivering so bad, my whole body was trembling and shaking and I couldn't control it. Like, I was really scared, like it was almost seizure-like, even though I knew it wasn't. It was really, really scary. And um, we got the news on Saturday that I had to have my port removed. Um, and they said today or tomorrow or Monday, but preferably today or tomorrow. And if you know anything about hospitals, only urgent or emergency surgeries happen on the weekends. So I had mine done Sunday morning. I was the first case. And I went in and had my port removed. If you squirm at the sight of healing wounds, skip ahead 10 seconds. Um, but they super glued. This is where we used to poke. You can still see the betadine, and then this is the scar. Um, it's a little bit longer than it was before. I still have my pick line in. But the infection ended up going into my bloodstream and since my port has been out I have not had one single fever and um, my pick line had one positive culture before my port was out but since my but since then not one and they said today they will stop taking cultures because I have my three negative so I get to keep my pick line the surgery itself went good However, it really affected my lungs and it never has before, um, which was kind of unnerving. It was kind of unnerving. Like, um, the anesthesiologist said that once you went to back my lungs, they were a bit tense, if that's, if I understood it right. And then when I was waking up, I had to have oxygen on because my sats kept dropping and that's just like, basically how much air you have and it wasn't enough since then though my lungs still it's hard to take deep breaths so I have this respirate not respirator I don't something something want so I'll put the word on the screen as you guys can tell <laughs> my memory is not great um but this helps stretch out my lungs. I'm gonna take deep breaths and it's gotten better. Um, but my body is also retaining a lot of fluid for whatever reason, which is making it feel like an elephant is sitting on my stomach, which makes me feel like I can't breathe even though I can, even though my stats are fine and my heart rate's fine, but my blood pressure is high. We don't know why. So I'm on Lasix to get all this fluid off. And tomorrow I'm getting a second echo. I had one done the other day and that showed that I have a leaky, I forgot what valve it is, um, and I'll talk about that more in the next video probably, but that could be contributing. And I still have my cough and no one knows why, I was never sick, um, but yeah, my port was the source of the infection and now I'm portless. Thank you for listening to this long-winded vlog update and
I hope you guys will come back for the next video. Um, yeah, don't forget to like this video so that more people will see it. And don't forget to subscribe down below as well. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. We are going home finally, and I am so happy and excited to go home. Oh, I'm so ready to go home.